Hello everyone. So one of the things that has helped a lot of people lately is creating a new normal routine for all of us. Now, routines typically change anyway with the changes of the season. So our, our routines are typically very different in the summer than they are in the winter. And sometimes during the spring and fall, it's kind of that transitional period where we're moving from our summer routine to our winter routine. And then in the, the spring, we're changing from our winter routine into our summer routine. So um, I know myself and I, like my myself and I, yeah, me, myself and I, <laughs> my dog and I have a very different routine in the summer versus the winter. In the summer, we walk at least twice a day. In the winter, if it's too cold, we don't walk outside. We'll kind of play around the house and whatnot. But typically, we'll walk around the neighborhood in the winter if it's like 32-ish and sunny, uh, maybe in the 30s and sunny. But if it's lower than that, then I'm not going to walk him because I just think it's too cold for his little pads and his little paws. So, um... You know, a lot of people are going, oh my God, this is crazy because I've got the kids or I've got this or I've got this. And this truly is a perfect opportunity for you to look at creating that new normal routine. Now, this is one of the things that I talk about all the time with my, uh, you know, Mastermind Mafia members as well as my One Degree Shift members is creating a routine that works for you. And sometimes we have things in our routine that really don't serve us. I mean, they served us when we first started them, but then maybe as we've aged or as the seasons change, that routine or that thing in our routine, it eh, just feels a little bit awkward and just doesn't really fit anymore. So today I want you to uh, really look at, okay, we don't know how long we're gonna be in quarantine, so maybe a month, maybe two months, maybe just two weeks, who knows? So what we can do is we can just say, okay, so knowing that we're gonna be in quarantine, what type of normal do I want? Am I someone that works from home? Do I have kids? Is there a spouse involved? Are there elderly parents involved or other factors involved? If so, take all that into account and say, okay, so what would a good routine feel like? And so maybe you all get up at the same time or maybe you get up like, you know, maybe 30 minutes to an hour early so that you can get certain things done first, then wake up the kids, okay? And so ask yourself, okay, so what would feel really good? If you're homeschooling your kids, if you are working from home and homeschooling, if you're not working and homeschooling, um, you know, all of these things should be taken into account, but give yourself permission to play around with this over the next week. And so today's Monday, this is the perfect time to start playing around with it. You know, one of the things that you could do is you can say, okay, we're gonna have all the kids go to bed between eight and 8.30, and then I'm gonna go to bed at nine or 10, I'm gonna get up at six or seven, have my hour to myself or 30 minutes to myself, and then we're gonna have breakfast together, which I mean, what a cool blessing to be able to everybody get together and have breakfast together in the morning. I know that my family, when my kids were actually here, we did dinners together all the time. And um, when they started working, mm, it, you know, not so much, but at least once or twice a week, we would all sit down at the table and just spend a really great meal together. Well, now families are doing that more and more simply because we're almost kind of forced to, you know, but I mean, like I said, this is just such a blessing in disguise for sure. So, you know, have breakfast together and then everybody clean up together and then have the kids do their, their uh, workbooks or their online school time while you're maybe working out or while you're working at the same time. So everybody's got their device or their iPad or their workbook and everybody is working and then take a break for lunch and then do the same thing in the afternoon. Maybe work for an hour and then take a break and then work maybe for 20 minutes and then take a break, you know. So give yourself permission to just play around with this. Also, it just depends too on the age of your kids. Um, if your kids are younger, obviously those those steady bursts are going to be shorter periods of time, probably, you know, 15, 20 minutes at a time, and then take like a 10, 15 minute break, and then do another 20 minutes, and then take a break. And so really give yourself permission to look at the opportunity that is in this space. Look at the opportunity that you are presented as a family unit. 
and you can even get the kids involved with planning. It's like, okay, so what should our day look like? Like, and you know, and you know, from nine to noon, have it be the study time or 10 to noon or, um, and then have meal prep. And this is a perfect opportunity to teach your kids life skills. Like we're going to clean the house. Yay. You know, my kids for years were like, oh my, I, re I know how to sweep. Why? Why is this a chore? I'm like, well, my job as a parent is to teach you to be a, a productive, functioning adult so that when you go and leave the house, you're not a burden on society and you know how to clean your house. You know how to do your laundry, you cook, you know how to do all the things that, of course, most adults should know how to do. And the funny thing, my oldest son, whenever he got his first job, I'm like, how was work? He goes, I did chores the whole time. I'm like, what? He goes, I cleaned the counter, I swept, I vacuumed, I cleaned the toilets. And he's like, and then when they had me go in to start cooking, because he, he was supposed to like learn all the different, you know, jobs and stuff, but he was actually going to be a, you know, cook and everything. And he goes, and then when I actually went in there to cook, they were trying to teach me how to cook. And he goes, I got this. And he like whipped up something and they're like, dang, you know. And they're really impressed because most kids nowadays don't know how to cook. And so this is a perfect opportunity to teach those life skills along with the homeschooling things that you're teaching your children. So again, just depending on how old they are. Another thing that you can do is teach your kids, your older kids, how to change a flat tire, how to, how to change oil, how to do just general maintenance stuff to a vehicle, how to check like the fluids and whatnot. I mean, there's so many different opportunities here. Uh, that you can teach your kids during this time. So again, you know, give yourself permission to have fun with your normal schedule and your new normal routine. But the fact of the matter is the kids thrive better when they have a routine and when they know what's going to happen throughout the day. So I would play around with it this week. I would experiment to see, you know, when your kids or yourself have the most focus. I know I do my best writing in the afternoon. And since I'm writing my seventh book and we're at right at the tail end of it, I know that in the morning I do all my whatever I, I need to do. And then in the afternoon I sit down with my laptop and I write. And so pay attention and even ask your kids, you know, well, they might say that they're never gonna feel like wanting to do something, but ask your kids, you know, when do you know that you work the best with math or science or English or whatever? and give them the opportunity to create their schedule within that set schedule. So if you have, you know, from nine to noon is schoolwork, let them pick what they're doing. You know, maybe they can do science first or math first or English first, or if they have home ec, like teach them how to bake cookies or teach them how to put something in the crock pot and cook it. I mean, this is huge. This is such a huge opportunity. And then, you know, ask them some of the skills that they want to learn. Like, what have you ever wanted to learn from me that I that we've just never had the time? And you might be surprised with what they say. It's it's going to be really exciting for you, I promise. So, again, you know, play around with this this week. Really give yourself permission to include the family. Um, if you're like me, where it's just me and my partner, uh, we're empty nesters, so you know I work from home. He still is working in his office, so for me it's just kind of my regular everyday schedule. Even though we're quarantined, to me it just feels like another day. <laughs> so, however, you know I order my groceries now to get delivered instead of going to pick them up. So that's really the only thing that's changed for me. So you know some of you your routines are drastically changed, and others. Not so much, but still give this the opportunity to look at what your routine currently looks like and see what you can shift, what you can tweak, what you can change. And the key to all of this is to have fun, have fun and focus on being in joy, focus on using this, this, op uh, this um, situation as an opportunity instead of seeing it as an obstacle, okay? All right, I love you. I hope this serves you today. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Mwah. Bye.